Hello lads, it's Sarah. It's now day four of Iceborne, and having cleared the story as of yesterday, I thought I'd go over the questline for obtaining some pretty useful charms, one of which includes the wonderful set bonus of Razor Sharp slash Spare Shot. It's likely that you may have missed this questline going throughout the game, as you'll have to enter the new house facility and speak with your housekeeper in order to access it. Now, as these quests go over some Master Rank 5 content, as well as some unrevealed monsters, if you don't wish to be spoiled for this, I suggest that you skip the video for the time being until you've at least cleared the story. With that said, and the spoiler warnings out of the way, let's have a look at these quests. All four quests carry the prefix of The Perfect Route. The first one has the subtitle of Stone, and involves capturing a Tigrex at the Hoarfrost Reach. It's a fairly straightforward quest if you've fought Tigrex already, and he's largely fought on his own for the most of the hunt, although I believe that there was a Folger Anjanath roaming around the area that could present a bit of trouble if it decides to show up. Succeed at capturing the beast, and you'll receive the reward of the Adamantine Charm, a charm which gives you non-elemental boost and bludgeoner, so essentially the entire Diablos armor packed into one charm. Next we have Light Iron, which involves capturing an Acidic Glavinus in the Rotten Vale. Now for this, Acidic Glavinus is quite a fearsome opponent, I found the most success using a hammer and focusing on clutch claw attacks. You do also have the added benefit of an Odegaron roaming around the area, which whilst it can be disruptive, does offer a turf war with Acidic Glavinus for some extra damage if you are struggling. Succeed at this quest and you'll be presented with the fantastic Razor Sharp Charm. This charm presents the set bonus found on Zenajiva armor pieces. Unfortunately, not the true version you find on Nagakuga armor pieces, but it's still a very, very welcome piece of equipment nonetheless. Now, moving on to the third quest, which is under the title of Dark Iron. We return to the Rotten Vale here, however, our goal is to hunt, and it doesn't matter about capturing, but we have to hunt an Ebony Odegaran and a Standard Odegaran. Now, Ebony was quite a tough opponent for me when I first faced this, however, I found quite a bit of success using the Namiel Insect Glaive. If you focus your attacks to the head, especially your elemental ones for Ebony Odegaran, you can knock it out of the superheated state. They allude to this in the Hunter's Notes, but uh, putting it into practice I found was actually a lot more effective than I originally thought. After this, you go after the normal Odegaran and take it down. You'll then return to your house and speak to the uh, housekeeper. Uh, from there, they will reward you with another charm. This is known as the Sealer's Charm and offers the skills of Elder Seal Boost and Adrenaline. Now, I wouldn't say that this is the most useful out of all of the ones that you get in the uh, in this questline. Uh, Elder Seal Boost is obviously nice going against things such as Odegaron or maybe uh, Devil Joe, perhaps. Um, and the Adrenaline doesn't boost any damage but does help with stamina consumption, uh, which is useful if perhaps you're uh, having a bit of trouble with your Clutch Claw attacks, potentially. Anyways, with that out of the way, we can move on to the final quest. This final quest carries the title of Silver, and asks you to capture, in the Elder's Recess, the new Basil Geese variant. This variant is known as the Seething Basil Geese, and is uh, supercharged and red hot near constantly, and its bombs can turn blue and extend their range of their explosions. I found the most success here using an Ice Crit Element Bow, I believe it was the Shrieking Legiana one, and you'll want to focus on the wings and the tail this time around, as they've changed some of the hit zones for this new variant. Uh, if you succeed in capturing that, however, uh, congratulations, it's quite a difficult fight. Um, bear in mind you do have to watch out as well for a Tigrex and an Azur Rathlos that roam around the area, but once you succeed in this you'll be rewarded with the Gutsy Charm. This, as its name suggests, gives you the skill of Guts, which can be very very useful as you can survive an attack that would normally one-shot you if you have a certain amount of health left, which I think would be quite useful in using against the final story boss. So that really wraps it up. That's how we uh, get all of these useful charms and set bonuses here uh, in a quite nifty questline that uh, not a lot of people may have may have accessed or may have seen. Um, but I hope this helps out and I hope these charms can help you to succeed in any future hunts. I'll be back for some more content very soon, but thank you all very much for watching. Take it easy.